This is a video tutorial number one that I promised in my uh, video tutorial introduction. And I want to try to show you a little bit about what I know about uh, Windows Movie Maker. And I might point out that this does not include the Macintosh uh, movie uh, software, but only the Windows Movie Maker. And I also might mention that uh, I found some people in the past didn't know that they already had the Movie Maker software in with their system software, uh, both XP and and uh, Vista include Movie Maker software. I'm not sure about the uh, system versions before XP, but I, I'm thinking that some of those do also. But I know XP and Vista Vista does. So if you haven't uh, made any movies and, and uh, didn't know you even had the software to do it, you need to look in your program files and you'll find out uh, that you do have Windows Movie Maker and it's a pretty good little program. I want to show you on the screen here about the basic layout, at least the way it looks in uh, Vista. You notice at the top, like other software, it has some pull down menus that let you do different things. But also over on the left hand side it has a list of tasks, some import tasks, edit tasks, publish tasks, where you can do your um, selections right on the face of the window. In the middle here you'll see in this white area when you start importing media it'll show up in the white area. Over in the right hand side in the black area is your preview screen that shows uh, video or, or uh, photos that you have in, the, in your media area and it also play it. That's where your videos will play when you're trying to uh, get them worked out and edited. And down below you see something that's called a timeline. There's a video timeline, an audio music timeline, and a title overlay timeline. A little note there says drag media here. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Also at the top of the timeline it's listed from zero uh, in this uh, window up to 45 seconds and that is broken down in hundreds of a second. It can also go up into many minutes or hours if you had happen to have a video that long. But what I'd like to do is show you simply how you would bring media into the software, into Movie Maker. And for our purposes tonight, I'll just bring it, be bringing in some uh, pictures, some photos. And if you look over in the task, and it says import, and there's a category called pictures, if you left click on pictures, it takes you to uh, one of your directories, one of your files that has photos in it. These are some furnished with uh, with uh, Vista for Microsoft. And let's pick the one here called Creek. You left click on it, tell it to import it, and when you go back to the window, you'll see there's your Creek, and it's showing you a, a blow up over in the right hand side. And notice the one you selected is appearing under imported media. But since we're going to be trying to do a little transition in our video, let's go back and get another photo under pictures. And let's pick, uh, oh, let's see, I guess forest. And say import. And again, it brings it very quickly in. There's your forest picture. Shows it to you, a beautiful picture in the right hand side there. So now we have two still shots. These could just as well be video clips that we brought in the same way, or audio clips. But in this case, it's uh, photos that we want to make a little video out of. So to get them into your video timeline, you simply go up and left click, and drag down and drop. It'll find its place. It shows you over in the right hand side. Go back and get the forest photo, bring it down and drop it. It automatically clicks in the right place, shows it on the right hand side. So what we have is the stream and the forest down in the timeline. Now if we play this, we'll do a little reline, uh, uh, rewind and just play it through and show you what it does. For the first five seconds, it'll show you the stream, then it'll jump to the forest and it'll show it to you for five seconds and stop at ten seconds. So that's a, a little short video already. It's kind of jerky and short and only shows two scenes. But it's a, it's a video just as well. This video could be saved and uploaded to uh, YouTube. But Gary asked me about doing some transitions. So I want to show you how easy it is to do transitions with 
with Movie Maker. Uh, you go down to the bottom where your timeline is, and let's see, you, say you want to make the first photo fade out and the second photo fade in at the same time. Just uh, put your arrow on the right photo, right click, you show, see a little hand, move it, slide it over to the left, still holding your mouse button down, and you see the little blue incline there. That indicates where the transition starts and uh, and where it goes. And also the numbers show you at what point that'll start. So we're, we're going to start that about uh, two and a half seconds, 2.5 seconds into the first photo. So what will happen, and you see there in the bottom that uh, you do have an overlap, uh, what will happen, it will transition from the first photograph to the second photograph. And I'll show you that how it looks in the video. Let's do a rewind and do a play. And if you notice up here for the first second or two, it fades out, fades into the forest, and it stays on till about uh, seven and a half seconds. Uh, if you want to go back and kind of look at it in different segments, you can drag this little indicator, green indicator, and it'll show you what's going on at the different ones. If you wanted to make the video a little longer, you can s select the second photo and pull it out to say 10 seconds. And we'll rewind, play again. You'll notice the same transition, a fade out, a fade in, and the fade in will stay on until the video's been on for 10 seconds. So that's uh, our first uh, video tutorial that showed you how to bring things into uh, Movie Maker, how to put them in a timeline, and how to make a simple transition between the first clip or first photo and the second photo. So we'll make this a short one, and I'll be back before too long with uh, more Windows Movie Maker tips and tutorials for Mess About One. Good night.